As we continue making strides in the world of medicine and modern technology, we are determined to one day achieve the goal of curing all known diseases and cancers that plague the human race and cripple our populations. In fact, just recently, Mark Zuckerberg and Priscilla Chan pledged three billion US dollars with the mission statement and focus of curing, preventing and managing all human disease before the end of the century. Though this might seem like a more than ambitious goal, there are plenty of cases in which we have established cures for terrible diseases and illnesses all around the world. And even today, efforts are being made to tackle some of the most threatening illnesses imaginable. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be going over these efforts and five different diseases that scientists are close to curing. A cure for cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis is one of the most damaging progressive diseases caused by nothing other than a genetic illness that leads to the buildup of a sticky mucus all throughout the lungs. This progressive illness worsens over time and it can lead to the individual inflicted with the disease becoming increasingly damaged as they get older. The lungs will begin to scar as the mucus causes tearing and inflammation. Many of those inflicted get a cystic fibrosis related diabetes and a variety of different maladies may be accrued that is caused via a lifetime of poorly functioning cystic fibrosis transmembrane conductance regulator or CFTR for short. Essentially, this could mean that even if efforts are made to fix the broken CFTR caused by a mutation, many older generations afflicted by the disease will still have lasting permanent damage throughout their body. Fortunately enough, it appears that a cure for the genetic mutation and treatments for these lasting damages are right around the corner. In the past 30 years, an incredible amount of progress has taken place in understanding cystic fibrosis and the CFTR protein that has allowed for treatments that help to improve the underlying genetic issues and the damages caused by the illness that have been shown to greatly improve the quality of life of those afflicted. This is only the tip of the iceberg, however, as researchers are currently looking into curing this genetic mutation that causes cystic fibrosis by using new techniques in gene therapy to fix the mutation before it even has the chance to show symptoms. Given the fact that the mutation is only isolated to a single faulty gene, researchers believe it will be one of the first disease cured with gene therapy techniques that will help pave the way for future research into other genetic cures. In fact, at this time, the FDA has already approved a medical treatment back in February of 2018 known as Ivacaftor that deals directly with the broken gene causing the disease and had cured roughly 4% of the patients it treated. Although 4% might not be a lot, this year should see the introduction of new and more effective medicines in this field. a way to reverse Alzheimer's disease. Information regarding the Alzheimer's disease is incredibly limited given the recent advancements made in the field of science and technology. The majority of the information regarding the neurological deterioration of those suffering from the Alzheimer's disease mostly comes from those that have donated their brains to science after passing from the illness themselves and family members driven to find a cure that allow the brains to be examined and preserved. It is now well known that Alzheimer's is one of the most common forms of dementia and is recognized by the progressive degeneration of brain tissue that lasts over several decades that affects memory and the brain's ability to store short-term and long-term triggers. Currently, there are more than five and a half million people that suffer from the disease and that number is only continuing to grow even more rapidly as older populations live longer and more fruitful lives than ever before. Luckily, optimism is a driving factor for those afflicted with the disease as researchers have come forward with new and insightful information relative to the disease and treatments for those afflicted. Primary researcher Dr. Matthew Kennedy, of whom is the Director of Early Discovery and Neuroscience at Merck, as well as a leading representative for a group of major American pharmaceutical corporations, claims that many researchers are currently working with the highest sense of urgency 
to try to bring effective therapies to patients of all kinds and that they are excited to release new information pertaining to these years long of research. P. Murali Doraswamy, head of biological psychiatry at Duke University, claims that Alzheimer's disease has been an incredibly tough illness to tackle head on, but that more recently, there has been advancements in techniques that might prove to help the growth of new brain cells to repair damage and prevent the onset of Alzheimer's altogether. He even adds that at the current pace of Alzheimer's research, there are new targeted medicines coming out every single day that prove more effective against the illness than the last. Many different forms of cancer. Cancer is caused by the uncontrolled growth of mutated cells in your body that develop when the regeneration of tissue creates a replication error that causes the cells to continue replicating regardless of the inhibitors requiring the cell to stop dividing as it expands causing a violent growth and tumour throughout the area. This means that every form of cancer is unique to the next and whichever type of cell that the cancer cell arrives from has a dramatic change in its effect and mutation. This has led many researchers to believe that the constantly evolving and changing forms of cancer make curing its presence more difficult than curing all viruses and genetic birth defects altogether. Fortunately for us, this has not stopped research efforts and breakthrough therapies from surfacing. Although currently the majority of cancer treatment is handled by utilizing a plethora of pharmaceutical treatments such as that of chemotherapy and radiation to reduce the growth of cancer cells, it is still not enough for more deadly and prolonged cases of cancer in the public population. However, keeping in mind that cancer research had not really started until roughly two decades ago, we are making incredible strides in understanding the illness and enacted new gene therapies that can be used to help treat cancer in the future. In fact, the recent breakthrough discovery of the CRISPR gene editing techniques has researchers believing that a cure for the illness might occur within our generation, and that new, mind-blowing medical discoveries are being made daily. Barry Boyd, the Chair of Biology at the Northern Illinois University, claimed that researchers are now light years ahead of where they were just 20 years ago, and are learning and publishing new findings about the biology of cancer literally every single week. A cure for HIV AIDS HIV is mainly transmitted through sexual intercourse, but can also be passed from a mother to a child, blood transfusion with infected blood, or the use of dirty needles that were previously used by an individual with HIV. HIV can metastasize into the AIDS virus if left untreated or contracted from an individual of whom already had the development of the AIDS virus inside them. More than 36.9 million people worldwide suffer from this disease that can lead to the deterioration of the immune system and skeletal figures of those suffering without treatment. Currently, while there is a variety of ways to prevent initial infection, such as heightened public awareness of the disease, practicing safe sex, and taking pre- and post-exposure prophylaxis in the case of possible infection to minimize the chances of contracting the illness, there is currently substantial research towards the discovery of a functional cure for HIV and remission of the illness. Researchers appear to cite techniques in gene therapy as one of the main inspiring hopes for a cure of the disease. These hopes are centered around one of the first and only causes of a man being cured from HIV a decade ago by the use of a cell transplant from a donor with natural immunity to the virus. This could very well mean that by introducing gene therapy to allow the body to fight the virus itself, we can see the complete eradication and total remission of the disease in only a few more years. A cure for Ebola Though the contraction of the Ebola virus is particularly rare, its infectious rate and tendency to mutate rapidly and threaten to cause fast-spreading epidemics around the world has placed the Ebola virus well on the list of potential pandemic-causing candidates. After major Ebola outbreaks back in 1976, 1995 and again recently in 2014, which caused economic panics and downturns of the United States stock market, discovering a cure for the virus became a number one priority for researchers. 
This has led to incredible new research into the disease that researchers believed will allow them to be far more prepared for treatments of the illness and in a few years be able to have a working vaccine to prevent outbreaks altogether. This would be a potentially world-saving discovery given the frequency at which Ebola has been spreading due to advancements in transportation and the industrial revolution occurring in poorer African countries. It could also spell the complete eradication of the disease similar to that of the eradication of polio seen by the introduction of vaccines to the populations in which the disease normally first arise from. In a few short years, the Ebola virus will go the way of the dodo and no longer be a worry that keeps the CDC and World Health Organization up at night. But what do you all think of these revolutionary breakthroughs and what they could mean for the future of humanity? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.